Lauren Alexandra, eight months. Sherrod and Sarah Monday are bringing John Sherrod Jr., two months. David and Jan Skoog are bringing Hannah Kay, three and a half months. Darren and Christy Sloan are bringing Spencer Rowe, 22 months. Jameson and Heather Smith are bringing Margaret Elizabeth, 22 months, and Emma Francis, one month. Tip and Karen Spence are bringing William Tippa the fourth, four and a half years, Samuel Eric, two years, and Benjamin Matthew, 15 months. Stephen Anna Erickson, along with big brother Kelby and big sister Zoe, are bringing Lauren one ray, 12 months, adopted in January. We should have built this stage bigger. Who was in charge of this? <laughs> I want to welcome all these parents, these beautiful families, these beautiful children. Let me just explain what we're doing here. When we dedicate a child to the Lord, Basically, what these parents are doing is coming before God's people in, in a solemn expression of their commitment to raise these children for the Lord. And it makes sense that if parents are committing their children to the Lord, that, that we would ask God in a very special way to touch these children and protect them and to be with them. This has biblical precedent in Matthew chapter 18. It says that Jesus called a little child and had him stand among them, and he said... I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like a child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. And then later, Jesus was teaching, and they had an incident where some parents brought their children to be blessed by the great rabbi. And his disciples were trying to hustle him off because Jesus was too important for children. And it says the little children were brought to Jesus to, for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. We believe that. And we believe that it's a biblical practice for parents to solidify their commitment. To create a Christian home for these children and to dedicate these children to the Lord. Now, often, whenever we have these dedications, we have extended family, grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles who travel some distance. This is your celebration, too. I'd just like to know if there are any extended relatives here of any of the families on the platform. Would you just stand to be recognized? We'd love to welcome you. Any family members? Here's some over here. Usually you can tell because they got the cameras. Okay. We welcome all of you. This is your celebration, too. Well, we come to dedicate the children, and therefore we want to hear from the parents the expression of what this means to them. So I have a couple of questions for you parents, and if you would just listen carefully and respond. The first question, parents, is as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, do you now wish to publicly dedicate your children to the Lord? And the second question is, will you promise as parents that you will do your best to set a godly example for your child? that you will raise him or her to understand the timeless truths of Christianity, and that you will seek to lead them to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, parents. Congregation, you have heard the declarations of these parents. You know why they are here. So we would ask you to stand, please, as the congregation. We have a question for you. God has designed the family as an environment in which the baton of truth is passed from generation to generation. But he has also designed the church as an extended family to support these families as they do their job. And so we have a question for you. Will you, the congregation of Irving Bible Church, promise to support, encourage, and pray for these parents as they raise their children for the Lord? And will you strive to minister to these children by your own godly example? If so, would you please say we will? Thank you. That encourages everyone up here. Thank you. You may be seated. I'm going to ask if, uh, if dads, if your knees will permit you to kneel with the child you're dedicating. Moms, place hand on shoulders. It's a sign of solidarity. We'd like to pray a prayer of dedication over these little ones. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence blessed and grateful for these 
precious little lives that you have placed in these families. Not only in these individual families, but Lord, in the, in the wider fellowship of this church. We are honored. And Lord, we take the responsibility seriously. As these parents have come before you, Lord, to publicly state their dedication to raise their children in your nurture and in your admonition, we pray for them. We pray that you would give them strength and provision, patience and wisdom. We pray that you would supply every need, every resource that they need to do the job that you've given them to do. And Father, most especially now, we come to dedicate these precious little boys and girls to you, Father. You knew their names long before they were ever born, long before we ever knew they would be here. You love them, and you have uh, brought them with these families today, and we commit them to you. We dedicate them to you. Father, by name, we dedicate to you today Sarah Brewster Alicud, Lauren Alexandra Hickey, Audrey Page Holder, Andrew Joseph Johnson, John Sherrod Mundy Jr., Hannah K. Scoob, Spencer Rose Sloan, Margaret Elizabeth Smith, Emma Francis Smith, William Tippa Spence IV, Samuel Eric Spence, Benjamin Matthew Spence, Lauren Wunray Erickson. Lord Jesus, we pray for these little ones today as we dedicate them to you, that you would put your hand of protection over them, that you would fill them with your spirit, that you would make them mighty for you. Protect them, guard them, go before them, bless them, Lord, we give them to you today. We thank you in advance for being the great shepherd who takes care of them. This we pray with thanksgiving in the name of the great one, the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you. And all God's people said, Amen. Let's give them a hand, shall we? Beyond fear. And 